Hi guys, this is a modified Nerf Elite Hyperfire. It shoots at everything that's closer than two and a half meters from this. And I'm gonna try this on myself now. And it's hot. And I hope I should be able to sneak past here. All the way here. I'm gonna put my safety mask on and walk here. It shouldn't shoot at me right here. But if I take another... Oh, dang! Oh! Wow! It's fast. And that actually stung quite a bit. Let, let, let's do that again. Oh, ah. Okay, the rate of fire is crazy. And it's actually... It's actually, it's actually hurting. It hurts when it hits. Ah, dang! Ow! It, it works beyond my wildest dreams. Wow! So I'm just gonna test to see how fast this thing really is. Just gonna put my hand in front of the sensor. See how it performs. That was just insane. It's so fast. <laughs> wow. All right, this is just a rough schematic showing the relationship of the different components I'm using in this build. And I've just drawn up this box so you can see what's clearly what's inside the battery bay. Um, first, the battery. It's a two cell LiPo, 8.4 volts when fully charged. It's connected to an on off switch. And when the switch is in its on position, that's when we power the whole thing. The battery is also connected to a voltage regulator because we need to drop the 8.4 down to 5 volts and supply 5 volts to the relay, the Arduino, the LCD and the ultrasonic sensor. The ultrasonic sensor is continuously red and we're measuring the distance and when the distance is less than 2.5 meters that's when the Arduino tells the relays to open up and connect the batteries to the motors. The two types of motors. One motor is, I call it the feeder motor. It feeds darts from the magazine into the flywheels using a conveyor belt type mechanism. The flywheel grabs a hold of the dart fed into them and they spin really fast and just accelerate the dart out of the gun so the gun actually shoots. That's it. Let's have a look at the real thing. All right. Can of worms. Yeah. So LCD, backside LCD, battery, Relay board, dual relay board, voltage regulator, and the Arduino. I'm using way too many connectors in this build. I thought it was a smart thing to do, so I could reuse the components for later, so I didn't have to, you know, hard solder things together. But I could probably, well, I could have definitely reused um, the parts without having to use so many connectors, anyways. Um, I have wires that come out here and here. Those are the wires. These ones up here go to the ultrasonic sensor. And these ones here are just extension cables that go directly to the motors. So um, yeah, I did have to remove the, the battery separators here and some of these um, yeah, supports, I guess, and also the, um, the springs uh, in, in the battery. Um, battery terminals. Otherwise I couldn't fit it in. And also I drilled, cut away some material, oops, I cut away some materials to connect my wires to, uh, to the um, on off switch. But yeah, I, I, I like the fact that I've been able to contain all this nasty stuff inside. Uh, and the, on the outside, I think it's pretty smooth actually, because I only have wires um, sticking out here. But that's I guess kind of um, unavoidable, but the rest is actually kind of kind of nice. Not so much um, a nastiness going on. Everything is, is hidden away inside, so that's um, that's a positive thing. So I want to show the internals um, of the gun. I've taken it apart, and two things I want to mention: I've sorted wires 
power wires directly onto the trigger uh, motor, and then I've, they're uh, exiting in the battery bay. I've also added uh, wires directly onto the flywheel motors, and again running the wires all the way along onto the battery bay. I've also um, run the wires for the ultrasonic sensor, uh, following the same uh, wire path. It's not easy to cram it all in here together, but it's, it's, it's possible. In case someone's interested in the code, here's the first part, here's the second part. You're welcome. All right, guys, I've had so much fun in this project and making this gun, and it's a lot more powerful than I thought that it would be. Um, I can only use it for Nerf war situations where people are wearing protective devices, otherwise they, they, they might actually hurt themselves, especially the eyes. The, the, the darts that I got on my arm, that actually stung, and I had uh, red marks when, where they hit me. So this is, um, this is now <laughs> gone from just a uh, yeah, um, harmful toy to something that's um, a bit more serious. Um, so I think in a Nerf war, in a locked room where everything is armed, people open the door, they might, this one, this baby might give them a good scare. So um, I have some more Nerf ideas in the making and uh, please drop me a note in the comments if you want to see those. And if you like this video, I would highly appreciate it if you gave it a like. All right, guys, that's all for now. Cheers.